the toy aisle. What happened to it? Where did it go? Is it now uh, just a figment of our imagination from years gone by when you could find a little bit of everything? Or maybe, maybe we have simply outgrown the toy aisle. Guys, we're going to try to make some sense of this today. What happened to the toy aisle? What has it become? Why has it become that? Guys, welcome to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, I'm going to put my detective hat on. I want you guys to put your detective hats on as well. We have to find out what on earth has transpired within the last 25 years to reduce the toy aisles to nothing. Toy, toy aisles in department stores and toy stores, five and dimes, like Woolworths, you name it. The toy aisles were the best. You could find anything in those places. Anything. An action figure a fantastic board game, a bag of army men, you name it. It was all in the toy aisle. Your knockoff action figures to your more expensive ones like the G.I. Joes, they were in the toy aisle. I went to Walmart the other day and what I saw in the toy aisle was depressing absolutely depressing guys there's nothing in there there's there, there's no masters of the universe he-man Stratos, there's no Migos. Where are the monsters? Where are the G.I. Joes? Guys, I'll tell you where they're at. I'll tell you where they're at. They're buried in our imagination now. from a time period that no longer exists, a time period that I don't know will ever exist again. You know, we, we all like to look back on our childhoods and say, boy, we had the best toys from our, to uh, from our childhoods. We had the best time from our childhoods playing with these toys. What on earth happened? We grew up, guys. But there's still kids out there. There's generations of kids out there that still like toys. Or do they? What toy companies are putting in toy aisles now, I, I, I think it's can't even pass as a toy. A bunch of plastic molded 
no articulation, action figures. That sits day after day, week after week, collecting dust on these toy shelves. Well, I know somebody's going to say MIB. You're showing some pretty cool action figures. These are the action figures that I, I grew up with. The G.I. Joes, the Migos. Uh, these action figures right here, the, the NECA figures, aren't even so, sold in the, the toy aisle. Maybe if they were sold in a toy aisle, the toy aisles would probably be cool again. I mean, is it to the point where toy aisles aren't necessary anymore? No one's buying. I mean, even Barbie's struggling. And if Barbie's struggling, she's been around forever as a, as a doll. I guess it's really bad. Guys, we're sitting here in a museum. We're trying to make sense of this. The absence of decent toys. The absence of fun toys. In our toy aisles. This is not just a problem here in the States. This is a problem globally. I mean, it, 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 did toy companies stop making great toys? Well, I think with the change of the century, new technology, new ways of marketing, we have toy websites, Cotswold Collectibles, uh, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, you know, the list goes on and on. So now we buy our toys in cyberspace. We buy our toys off of these toy websites. We click a few buttons. We hit pay now or add to cart. And that's what we do. Now we shop in cyber toy aisles. No fun at all. Effective, efficient, but no fun at all, guys. I walked down Target just today, which actually gave me some inspiration to do uh, this video. The toy aisles, as big as they are, were empty. Empty, not of toys. Empty of patrons, customers, kids. When I was growing up, toy aisles were packed or jam packed. You could barely walk down the toy aisles when I was growing up in the 1970s and in, and in the early 1980s. Everybody was there to get the latest He-Man that they saw on a TV commercial while sitting there eating their cereal on a Saturday morning. Kids were begging and pleading parents. Uh, they did do extra chores if they could have the latest adventure team, G.I. Joe.
that was the, the beauty and aura of Toy Isles from the 1970s and early 1980s. No commercials, guys. No commercials to market the toys, to get the kids excited about the toys. So kids would want to actually mop a floor or mow the lawn to get that cool G.I. Joe. Or that Batman figure that they've been reading about in a comic book. This is what's happening to our, our toy aisles. Filled to the brim with absolutely nothing. Toys that I wouldn't play with when I was a kid. Toys that weren't fun. Toys that were not engaging or interesting or even scary. Yeah, I did a video. Uh, oh my goodness. It had to be about seven or eight months now. You know, saying what what's happening with the toys. Are the kids simply done with playing with toys? Has action figures become a dying breed? A dinosaur, if you will. Has imagination been replaced with a game controller. Everything at your fingertips now, everything controlled through an iPad or an iPhone. No imagination, no wonderment to be in another place in another time while just actually being in your backyard with your favorite action figure. When I was a kid, my next door neighbor would have the newest G.I. Joe. Knowing that I could not afford a G.I. Joe, I still begged and pleaded with my parents to take me to, uh, I think there was a store called A.M.P. Grocery store. But it had a toy aisle in it. And I would go up there. They would take me up there. And I could not get a G.I. Joe. This is in the 1970s. But I was always able to find something cool there. A bag of uh, uh, green army men. Some cool trucks. Marbles, you name it. Something cool. Or Amigo figure. Which is what I usually wound up getting was Amigo figure. Guys, your thoughts, your opinions, maybe you have some insight on what's happening with our toy aisles. How often do you go down the toy aisle and wind up scratching your head saying, why on earth did I even come down this toy aisle? This toy aisle haven't changed, hasn't changed in months. And yet we are still... Per you know, we're, we're, we're still induced into coming for some reason to going to that toy aisle. For what? I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys why we still go down these toy aisles that we know absolutely has nothing. We go down there with the hopes of finding something. 
A diamond in the rough. Something that was made and we must have overlooked it. And it's sitting there in a toy aisle waiting for us. That's what we all hope for, guys. That's what we all pray for. It's the hope that we're going to find a toy that we've been looking for or waiting for all this time. It's just going to magically be there, hanging on the pegs in the toy aisle. That's why we keep going back, guys. We're suckers. <laughs> We are suckers, guys. I, I'm, I'm the biggest one of all. I venture down these toy aisles, aisles knowing full well that they render absolutely nothing. And yet I still go. And I know somebody's going to say, MIB, you have a toy aisle in your museum. <laughs> True. But guys, we all can dream. It's never enough as a toy collector. We're always looking. We're always searching for that one cool toy that we think or we feel or we hope exists and a toy aisle. Guys, I think uh, I, I like I don't want to I don't want to break anybody's spirit. But I think those days are over. That time has come and gone. The time of finding cool toys in our toy aisles. I think those days are gone. Guys, your thoughts, your opinions. On this perplexing, sad state of affairs that we call the toy aisle. How did we get here? How did we get to this point? Will it get better? I think time will tell. Time will tell. But I, I don't see it, guys. If you see it, leave your comments and your opinions, guys. We want to hear from you. Right underneath the, this video in the comment section. Better toys in a toy aisle in our future. How many more years do we have to wait for that to happen? For that to become a reality again? The fate of the toy aisle. Guys, we just wanted you to have something to think about. A mystery, if you will. Maybe you can solve this mystery. Let us know in the comment section, guys, right underneath this video. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.